Seeds of Hope Nigeria. We want to give you a quick update or review of the 2022 year here at Seeds of Hope. Yeah, but we also just want to take a minute to sincerely thank you from the bottom of our hearts um, for the wonderful support that you've been to uh, Seeds of Hope Nigeria, but also to our family. Uh, truly, we wouldn't have made it tr through this year without your uh, your prayers and your support to be able to get us to where we're at. Uh, and so truly, we're so thankful. Uh, your donation have gone a long way to sustain us through 20, uh, 2022. Uh, and it's, this donations actually covers our monthly, what we call the monthly operational cost. And that consists of food and, and toiletries, clothes for the children, but also staff salaries and maintenance and birthdays, uh, birthday celebrations. And so truly we wouldn't have done all this without your support. Uh, and so we're so grateful for you. Um, since starting Seeds of Hope just a year ago, opening the doors, we currently have 21 staff um, that includes everyone from the kitchen to cleaning to house parents to guards to teachers um, to the center leader here at Seeds of Hope. So 21 staff have been hired within a year's period of time. And we have 30 children here at Seeds of Hope currently and we're looking into taking the final 10 children uh, this this coming January, we're doing the background checks, making sure their stories are um, clear and so that we can um, process and take them into Seeds of Hope um, here in Nigeria in January. So we want to give you a few testimonials of how we've got to see the children grow from when they first came here a year ago to, um, to date. Um, one of the big things that most of all the children that came uh, from a rural setting came to Seeds of Hope where there is amenities like running water or toilets or electricity and um, most of the children would preference as at the beginning to go outside and use the toilet like just the environment around and so we had to teach them how to use a toilet, how to sit down on the toilet, how to properly flush the toilet without breaking the toilet, <laughs> those types of things, um, what things are appropriate to put down the toilet, not Stuffed animals, that was the first kind of go-to at the beginning and we, we had to, you know, teach them stuffed animals remain outside of the toilet. <laughs> um, other things, they hadn't seen a ceiling fan before, so we caught one of the uh, boys hanging on the ceiling fan, going for the ride of his life, spinning around, sparking, and we were like, whoa, we didn't think of that as the leadership here. We didn't think about that being an issue, but we quickly came to realize, okay, this is new to them and they need to be able to um, know what it is and what the proper use of it is. So they've grown a lot in just their understanding and um, growth here. Also, um, teaching life skills. So um, back in their home, they would have helped around the campfire cooking or um, doing their own laundry. Um, and so here we want to make sure that they have those life skills as well. So the older students, around 10 and above, we have them do their own hand laundry now. So teaching them, you know, this is a life skill that you're going to need when you leave here. And so they do their hand laundry. Um, the younger children, we still have somebody employed to do their laundry for them. In the kitchen, we also have the older students rotate on a daily basis of, you know, helping wash dishes, put things away um, so that they can glean that skill as well. Yeah, um, but also uh, we've seen the children grow a lot. Uh, most of them came from uh, communities like villages where they speak the native language. Uh, but they don't know how to communicate in what we call the Hausa language, which is, which is like the more of the, which is more of like the communication language in the northern part of Nigeria. But we've seen them grow in learning Hausa language. Uh, they've improved so much that they can communicate with one another uh, through Hausa language. But not just that, uh, they came with little or no English, and we've seen these kids grow in actually learning how to speak English, but also how to write. So they're currently like able to read and write, which that is truly awesome. In a year time, we're seeing this great uh, things happen. And so truly we're grateful for that.
But also in Seeds of Hope, we have seven standards that we go by. Uh, the first one is come ready to learn uh, and then respect to self and others. And then ask questions, make mistakes and learn from them. And the next one is share your ideas uh, and then do your best. And then the last one is impact someone's life today. Uh, and truly, we've seen those uh, these kids uh, grow through the standards. Uh, sometimes by seven o'clock, these kids are ready. Seven a.m., they're ready to go to school. Uh, they have, you know, they have their uniforms and everything that they need to be able to go learn. Uh, but also, just the way they respect themselves and others, and they make mistakes and learn from it, just like Michaela has said when they initial initially uh, came into the building, there was lots of things happening, things breaking. And so they've made lots of mistakes, but we've seen how they've learned from it and how they're moving forward and how they're just doing their possible best, but also impacting one another's life. Something that's been so touching that the children have taken the initiative on their own recently is giving um, Bombshack and myself, as well as a couple other staff members, um, they slip us these little notes that they've written where it says, you know, thank you for taking me into seeds of hope and not, you know, not letting me fail or, um, you know, thank you for the bike that we bought them for Christmas or things like that. They're just learning to um, show their appreciation and their gratitude and having the maturity to understand um, the opportunity that they have and really taking advantage of the opportunity that they have here at Seeds of Hope to develop themselves and to have a, have a future. Um, another thing that I, just as a mom myself and um, leader here at Seeds of Hope, seeing the kids work so diligently this past um, two quarters, getting ready to do a presentation, they, they had a visitation day of um, their extended relatives that came to see them. And really it was a presentation of all the, the hard work that they've um, put in to present, you know, a drama and um, scripture memorization and um, just the, the self-confidence that they have to stand in front of um, their, their family and their teachers. I mean, it's just amazing to see um, kind of these these shy kids that um, have went through so much in their life and now they're able to stand and, you know, proclaim the gospel message um, at such a young age. I mean, it just amazes me how much they have grown in that. Uh, but also, truly, um, talking about the school, we want to thank you so much uh, for actually uh, donating towards the school building. We started this building in, in February this year, uh, but you guys kept giving. And in no time, we have a school structure raised and, and, and punished uh, for school to start uh, this past September. Uh, truly, this it's a miracle. God uh, opened doors where we just never thought or imagined, but you guys gave tirelessly uh, to us this project. And now we have the building furnished and kids sitting and actually getting being taught in the school and they're growing and learning each day. Uh, and again, this is all because of you. And we are truly grateful for you. Another thing that we uh, are just so grateful for is um, the answered prayer of Kayla and PJ and Zoe Howen. They are our assistant directors here at Seeds of Hope, and they really do a majority of um, the school operations. So their background is in education, and they have they have come in and um, just really help bring their expertise into the administration part of the school, into staff training, into making sure that the standard and excellence that we're looking for at Seeds of Hope is um, is held to on a daily basis. Um, and so they not only do stuff at Seeds of Hope Academy, but they also choose to interact with the kids and do lively activities with the kids um, on on you know off hours of school and so we're just so grateful for them um, volunteering their time here at Seeds of Hope and investing in our staff and our students um, so thank you so much for praying alongside us. It is such a joy for me and my family to serve alongside Bomb Shack, Michaela and the rest of the staff here at Seeds of Hope. 
Uh, we primarily are overseeing Seeds of Hope Academy, the school here uh, that was born out of the vision of Seeds of Hope that every child would have a safe, nurturing environment to reach their God-given potential. And we know for them to reach that potential, we need to train them, we need to grow them. So Seeds of Hope Academy came from that, that we want to grow our children uh, in, in a safe, nurturing environment where they're able to learn about Christ as well as academics together. Uh, our kids, many of them came in never being at school before, so school is a completely new thing for them. And we saw them come in timid, not really sure what to do, um, just very unsure of themselves. And we've seen them grow hugely in their confidence, uh, in their confidence in themselves and who they are and who they are in Christ. Uh, now they're asking questions, they're sharing their ideas. Uh, they know if they make a mistake, it's no problem that that's where the new learning goes, that they'll be able to try again and have more success the next time. And it, we've seen now, now that they feel safe at school, we're seeing their, their learning their, and their results just skyrocket. They're doing such a wonderful job uh, in all areas, but it's because of that confidence that they have. And that goes back to the teachers, the teachers who are working with them. They've created a safe environment. They've created that trust that needs to be there uh, to be a safe people where they can learn from each other, where you can correct each other. So the teachers are doing a wonderful job um, Seeds of Hope Academy looks very different than a uh, public government school here. And a lot of that goes to classroom management and the way that behaviors are dealt with. Because here we want, we want the children to be individuals. We want to be able to know everyone's name. And we believe that by having that relationship that everything else is going to run much more smoothly. So our teachers took a lot of time building that relationship and getting to know students and being able to... Um, give consequence and correction and do it in a positive way. And a, a lot of the teachers at first, they were saying, you know, we, we're not sure about this. this, isn't usually the way we do it, but they tried it, they continued working through it, and it's going so, so well. Uh, one of the wonderful things is that the teachers are actually taking what they've learned here and are bringing it to their homes. They want to do that with their own children because they've seen it work here. So it's, it's amazing to see the impact that Seeds of Hope isn't just having on our children and the staff here, but also um, going out into their families and in the community. Um, it, it's just truly such a blessing to see what God is doing, the way he's using um, our, our staff, the way he's using our children to be able to touch lives, to be able to build these relationships. That's what Jesus did. He built relationships, and now we're seeing our staff doing that with the kids and the impact it's having. Uh, one, an, another area that it's really impacting them is their reading. Many of our kids came in not knowing all of their letters, and now they're reading. They're looking, they'll see my shirt, and they'll start saying, S says, S. Uh, you know, and it's just so fun because these kids are experiencing learning. They're going out into the community, um, or the, the community area here, and they're doing their own gardens. Um, you know, the, the learning just isn't happening in the book, but the teachers are making it come to life for them. And it, it's just so fun to see these kids from where they were when they first started to where they are now. And it's only been a couple months since September when school started. So knowing that we have now until the end of the school year, we are so excited to see what, what God's going to do because we've seen what he's already done in this small amount of time. Uh, so please be praying. Be praying for our children. Uh, first, praise with us because we're just praising God for the school to be here, uh, for what God's already been doing. And um, yeah, just continue to pray with us that we can, we can grow our school in a positive way, a way that's impacting our children, but also the community. In the future, we're hoping to open to the community, um, that community members would be able to come in and that we'd just be able to touch hearts, hearts for Jesus, that we'd be able to do things in a different way that will really help these kids grow to their greatest potential. So thank you for your partnership. Thank you for being alongside of all of us. Uh, we know that we don't journey alone. We all journey together. So thank you, and uh, we move forward together. We continue to ask you to pray um, that other people would join our team here at Seas of Hope as we continue to grow, um, as other needs arise. Um, we pray that God would lay on people's hearts to join our team if that would be um, his will for, you know, any, any, any family. Yeah, but also, um, if you're listening um, to this, know that we're open for uh, short-term and long-term missions. Uh, you can come as a group or as a church or 
you know, whatever it is, there's a deep bunch of different things you can do. You can help with a project or a building project or something. You know, you can help with teaching or doing VBS uh, with the children. Uh, so there's tons of opportunities or things that you can do here. Uh, so feel free to reach out to us and the email address that is provided on this uh, video. Um, but truly, once again, uh, we just want to thank you so much for everything that you guys have done. Uh, we can't wait for what God is going to be doing through this next coming year, 2023. Uh, and so uh, we look forward to partnering with you and, and just establishing God's kingdom uh, in this place through the ministry of Seeds of Hope and changing the lives of these children here uh, in Nigeria to be able to see a new Nigeria through the lives of these children. And so once again, thank you so much. And we can uh, wait to continue our journey together. Uh, we wish you the very best of the Christmas. Uh, we hope you have a great celebration uh, with your family and that God will keep you in good health uh, and protect you um, so we can continue to achieve more together. Uh, God bless you.